how to edit all your existing listings on ebay at once and what you should be aware when doing so let me show you right away from your seller hub hover your mouse on listing and click on active scroll down a bit and you will see the check boxes near the action click on it and you will see that 200 results out of 460 are being checked but when you click on edit you will see that you can edit selected that 200 we just selected or you can edit all your existing listings i think it might be up to 500 or up to 1000 depends on your ebay domain site but if we want to edit all of our existing listings we have to click on edit all you can read the updates ebay mage for you but for now i skip it now the bulk edit function works very well on ebay and you can edit your items separately from over here by changing the title custom label available quantity buy it now price and so on but you can also edit all the items at once to do so you have to click on the checkbox right here and you will see that all of your existing listings are checked now when we are clicking on bulk edit we will see multiple of options we can bulk edit our items so we begin from auto realist auto realist means that the listings that are selected to be listed on ebay for a specific amount of time let's say 15 or 30 days with this option you, you can make those listings appear on ebay automatically but i don't have such listings so if i click on this it shows me that no selected listings are eligible for this action we have available quantity we can change the quantity from over here one by one or we can bulk edit all the quantity of our listings and we have several options here like lower by increase by or change to so if i want to lower all my quantity by one i have to just simply input one but if i choose this option but don't go below it might be complicated so never choose this option and if you want to set your quantity to default quantity click on this and input the number you want in my case i would like that there will be three items on each of my metal signs because i am selling the same design i will produce it i will manufacture it once uh, the client will purchase it so it's way easier for me if you have different types of items and different uh, quantities of your item you can't do it moving next we do have buy it now price and as you can see there are almost the same selections as it was when you are choosing quantity you can lower buy increase buy change to or remove at all but it only applies to auction style listings so if i want to lower my price by particular amount of percent or amount in dollars i can do it from here so if i want to make a discount i can do it from markdown manager through promotions but if i want to lower my prices because of my production cost was reduced i can do it here so i'm red lowering my price by 10 percent but i don't choose the option don't go below because when i choose this option and input let's say five dollars it means that all of my listings are going down to five dollars it means all of the buyers can buy my listings for five dollars because that's a rule the first rule that lower my price by 10 percent will be ignored and the second rule will be applied so i advise you to never use this option because you might get a lot of sales and your items might be bought very cheap next we have charity if you would like to donate some amount of your sale to charity you can make a donation here by creating an account or you can remove donations from selecting listings moving forward we have offers and as you can see offer are eligible only for 459 out of 460 selected listings that's because i have some listing with multi-variation and multi-variation listings are not eligible to receive offers so if i want to i can refuse to accept offers by clicking on this one and i can allow offers by clicking on this one i can set the price to minimum offer amount someone can suggest that that will be automatically accepted or declined or if i already have 
allowed my offers before i just skipping this option next we have reserve price and starting price those two are ma mainly used for auction style because reserve price i don't have any listing for this one and we can increase decrease and change reserve price if we have auction style listings the very same thing applies to starting price it only applies to auction style listing and it usually costs you money to change the starting price so if you are selling an auction style you can see your eligible listings from here and edit it but i can't see it next we have delivery and we have two options it means packaging details and shipping policy for packaging details we can bulk edit all of the selected items the package dimensions and shipping weights and for shipping policy we can actually choose other shipping policy if we have set up into business policies at this point i don't want to change my shipping policy so i'm skipping this one moving next we have listing details so we can actually change the category of our listings if we want to we can also change second category which might cost you some and we can choose the store category and the second category of our store this can be easily done if you have very same or similar items but if you have multiple of items different items variety store which mean you are selling electronics and home decor and toys it will be more complicated for you to select the category for all of the listings so you have to make it separate select only 80 listings and then edit the category and so on next we have condition but it's rarely changed so if you are listed an item that are used but market as new you can change your item condition from over here but it's very rarely used I don't know why people should use it perhaps if they are listing their items with uh, some kind of software but i never used it because i select item condition upon listing my item for large sellers especially there are custom labels that can be applied to all of your listings so if you want to change your 460 eligible listings custom label you can do it here and you have up to 50 charak the custom label isn't visible to your buyers so you can type here anything that you want anything that might help you when you're fulfilling the order and it might seem nonsense at first but when you are having 100 orders a day it will make things easier so think about the future and custom label your items next we have ebay description to show you how it works i will need to open one of my existing listings on ebay and explain so this is our very simple description and if we go back we will see that we have an option to add at the beginning so ebay will insert a phrase at the beginning of your selected listings so if i know i am selling a metal science and i want something special to offer to my buyers i can actually add a headline that will be aimed to make more sales we want it to be something special like this we can customize or print anything you want contact us so if we wanted this phrase would appear on the beginning we can actually input it here and apply to all of our existing listings so this phrase will appear at the top of our description if we want to do it at the end of our description there is a second option you should choose and input it if you want to if you want to use third option which is find text and replace it which is actually very time saving option we can do it first we select this one find let's say we can customize or print anything you want ebay will find this exact phrase he will delete it and then he will replace with the new original phrase we can customize or print anything you want on your metal sign if i leave it this right here when i click on apply and submit all of my listings all of my listings suddenly will appear with a different phrase over here so it's actually very powerful if you want to change anything in the middle of description or change the detail that we made mistake somewhere or we can actually change our entire description but these are rarely applied all of the items if we want to change an entire description it will be very difficult for us to apply the very same description to all of our items because as you can see 
these things will not change like if we are selling the same item on the same form on the same shape and size so we can keep it but if we want our title to be in our description this will change the title too so the title is that variable that cannot be changed on all of the description item description we have item specifics not much probably we can actually change we we can just choose the brand if you want and change to let's say unbranded if some of the listings are missing the brand we can change the type style team and material and so on if you have a different types of items it's very complicated if you are selling one item with the same shape and design it's very easy to use after item specifics we have title and subtitle and there is nothing you can change actually actually because you can make no changes you can change the entire title to something which is not very wise when you're editing 400 listings because the same title will apply to 400 listings that's not what you want the very same thing can be applied to subtitle after the title it comes with preferences and you can change item location return policy and payment policy regarding return and payment policy it's very the same as shipping policy if you click one of these you can actually choose the return policy you have created from your business policies or created over here so no, nothing much to speak about here but when it comes to item location you can actually change the zip code city and state of your item location well i don't highly suggest you to change the city or entire country as your item location because this may cause on your account suspension or even flag because this is major change which can cause even the highest suspension on your ebay business aren't usually doing it and i don't know why it's here perhaps some of the sellers are selling the item from the different locations they can put some of the items that are selling from different locations in this case it's not very useful and the last three options which is sell it faster which is listing upgrades promoted listings and volume pricing listing upgrades are usually the bold title and gallery plus which is completely useful you don't have to use it because they are rarely giving you much benefit because bold title doesn't really stand out as it should be and gallery plus we don't really need a bigger images because if we have a hot product that sells gallery plus won't help us if we want to choose promoted listings for all of our items we can do it from here we can actually choose an ad rate champagne suggested ad rates or single ad rate but you can do it the same thing from promoted listing dashboard from your seller hub we don't need it it's just an option that you can actually edit from over here but it's way better and way easier to do it from the seller hub and the last option we can choose is volume pricing it's actually very easy when all the items are priced the same and they are all the same items with the same shape this option also can be found in the seller hub just like promoted listings so you don't have to do it from over here but if you want to see it let me show you the very same thing you will see when you are listing your item the very same options if you buy two you will save this of money if you buy three you will save this amount of money so if you are very new to ebay just skip it you don't need it you don't have enough limits on your ebay account so you can use it if you are a high volume seller you should definitely use it if you have more than one of your items in your inventory stock and that's basically all when we are finished updating each and every or bulk of our items we just hit on submit all and see if there is any estimated fees if there is any estimated fees or insertion fees it means that you accidentally chosen listing upgrades such as bold title or subtitle or gallery plus option usually it's zeros it's free of cost and you just hit submit and you are seeing if there are any errors of your listings because if there are any errors ebay will notify you and you will have to solve in my case my all listings were updated and are live now so i have no issues no errors and there is nothing to change for my listing that's it for today and make sure to watch my channel if you want to learn more things about ebay